So here are the soul winning numbers. I, I like to do an update like every quarter. So I just, just to make it easier with the finances, I just made the soul winning update line up with the financial quarters as well. So um, if you don't know what the financial, everyone here should know what the financial year is. If you don't, then it's basically from 1st of July to 30th of June. So the you know, year normally goes from 1st of January to the 31st of December, but businesses, go from uh, 1st of July, they, they start in the midway of the year and, and midway through the end of the year. I don't know, I don't really actually know why that is, but that's why you see like these end of financial year sales around June because businesses are trying to like, you know, increase their expenses before they have to submit their tax returns and stuff like that, uh, submit, their, submit their annual reports and stuff. So, um, yeah, so there, those are the numbers. So if you see here, so if you look at Q1 actually corresponds with 1st of July to what the 31st of uh, the 30th of September and then you've got the 1st of October up to the 31st of December is is quarter 2. So those are our numbers from uh, quarter 1 and quarter 2 from 2016 and then you know now we're in quarter 3 right up until March and then there'll be quarter 4 which is up until 30th of June. So I, I thought, you know, I, and I, I must be comparing maybe with uh, the beginning of the year in 2016, because I think our numbers were a lot more. We had more people going soul winning, more doors knock. But comparing quarter one to quarter two, we've actually gone up. So the column I added there in green and red, which you guys can't really make out on that PowerPoint. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this column here? On the actual PowerPoint, that's, they're, they're green and the negative is red. So just, just keep in mind that positive is green, negative is red. So this is Q1. So that's, uh, that, those were our numbers from uh, June to September. And these are all the different statuses that we have in Spotio. When we go soul winning, you know, we, we input all those statuses. So that way we can, we can look at this and just see how we're going. Um, not that I put too much emphasis on the numbers, like, because I mean, you know, I think it's it's encouraging for us to see like what we've done. You know, it's not like these numbers really determine who's going to heaven and who's not, but uh, it, it gives us a good idea of how we're tracking and, and what sort of work we're doing here. So that's Q2. This is September to December. And I actually thought we had gone down, meaning like we had done less soul winning, but it turns out we'd actually done more. So if you can compare here, you can, this is the change. This is the difference between Q1 and Q2. So all of this is all green, all of it's positive. So it's all besides um, the following up month saved, which um, really can be, most of it is a uh, herpes gospel index discussion. But it's all going up. So that means we did more soul winning in quarter two than we did in quarter one. So a couple of, couple of things I like to point out whenever we do the soul winning numbers is um, looking at the average number of people that go soul winning every week. And I just count, like, if, if somebody goes twice a week, then that's counted as two because I, I can't really keep track of who's going. I'm not taking attendance and things like that. But I do take note of, hey, you know, on, on Wednesday we had a couple of people going, on Saturday we had this many people going, on Sunday we had this many people going, and then I just total up and say that's how many people went that week. So, but that's not actually how many unique people went that week because somebody might have went three times or two times or, and so on. So if you can see down here, this is the average soul winners per week in that quarter. So we had 15 people going in quarter two. In quarter one, we only had on average eight people going each week. All right, so that's why you can see the difference. Why did we get more people saved? Why did we knock more doors? Why did more people hear the gospel? Because we had more people going, All right? It's uh, simple, simple numbers. The more we go soul winning, the more we sow and water, the more we're going to reap and the more people are going to hear the gospel. And this is just tallying up the total number of doors, which is this number, divided by that number. So you can see approximately in that quarter, you know, on average, how many doors did one person knock. Um, this is quarter one, and this is all our numbers totaled up from the very beginning from when we started this church. So that was the 1st of March, 2015. So we're coming up on two, our two-year anniversary, which is going to be, uh, we're going to have it on the 4th of uh, March, which is, in, uh, which is a Saturday. So you can see here how many doors we knocked. That says 19,360. And that's on average 11 people, you know, 11 people going soul winning 
each week. Now, the one thing I like to always reflect on is imagine if that was 20 people. So with 11 people going soul winning every week from the time this church started, we have knocked 20,000 doors. Almost 1,000 people have heard the gospel because of our ministry here. How many people have gotten saved? 120 people. That's 11 people going soul winning each week. So imagine if it was 20. We could, we could have, if it was 20 people going soul winning every week for the last two years, we could have looked back on the last two years and say, hey, we knocked 40,000 doors. You know, we, we might have gone to other suburbs. We might have knocked suburbs twice by now if we had more people going soul winning. Um, so, see, it's not, it's, not even the, it's not the number of people that go. You see, it's the consistency, right? It's the consistency of people going. Because imagine if that number was 100. Imagine the effect we would have. So a small group of people is putting a huge dent in the map. And it is, you know, this core group of people in our church. Yeah, there are people that go, come and go, and go every now and then. Um, because when we start looking at the numbers here, this is quarter one and quarter two together. So from the 1st of, uh, 1st of July uh, up to the 31st of December, this is the attendance, which is the blue line, attendance at church. And then the red line is the attendance for soul winning each week. So it's good that both of them are trending upwards, right? But you can see that the red line is a lot smoother than the blue line. So what does that tell you? That tells you that the number of people going each week is a lot more consistent. And that makes sense because I see the people going every week, soul winning. It's a small, and it's like this in every church. And I hope it doesn't stay like this in our church. That in our church, that, you know, it's, it's not just this core group of like 5 or 10% of the church that are doing 80% of the work. We want to change that balance. We want these two lines getting closer together. We want that red line going towards the blue line. Um, but you can see that the red line is smooth, right? Because there's, there's an approximately the same number of people going soul winning every week. But when you look at the blue line, what do you see? This is the church attendance. It's going up. Next week it's down. Next week it's up. In two weeks it's down. And then two weeks it's up because we are not as consistent at church as, as we ought to be as believers. This, this is the graph um, from when our church started. So you can see that, yeah, we've, we, it's great because our church has been growing, right? Because from the beginning, it started at 20, and now we're, you know, it's trending up to about, you know, 45, 50. So, hey, thank God that the church is growing. You know, more people are getting involved. More people are coming along to hear the word. Hopefully more people are growing in the Lord. Um, but you can see that the soul winning number is trending pretty much straight, isn't it? Because even though our church is growing, the people that have joined our church are not involved in the soul winning yet. But I hope that they will be more involved soon, right? So um, it's cool how we, you know, when you keep track of these numbers, I mean, week in and week out, it is a bit of a chore, but then it's great because I can look back and we can see you know, and that's one thing Ashton always comments on is the blue line because it's just like <laughs> because you know one week we've got fifty people, the next week we've got twenty five people, and one week we've got forty people, and then thirty people. So not no consistency there. The trend is up, but consistency is bad. Uh, soul winning is more consistent because it's a core group that goes faithfully. 